Hello there, welcome back. Today we're going to do something that I should have done a long time ago. Capsize test. This is a Wellsford Navigator. We're going to see how it uh, performs when I tip it over. I'm in about five feet of water, so let's give it a go. Harder than it looked. Did not want to go over. Water bottle. Now I see all the things that I didn't didn't put in properly. So let's put those in. And now I'll try and get this camera down, and we'll go for a look around. All right. That was actually really difficult. <laughs> I had to climb out on the boot. Oh, you would have seen all that. Uh, I just want to go around and have a little look at a few things. Let's have a look. Oh. Okay, that's how high she sits. I'm just waiting for the sails to go in underwater. But importantly, I wanted to check the efficacy of this mast float which is why I'm in five foot of water in case uh, you know what happens now what's the buoyancy like I'm just pushing that down and up she comes as planned that was an eBay purchase not an expensive item hollow aluminium mast that can fill with water all right oh bottom needs a paint now you can see here I have a, a tail thank you John Wellsford if that were in I can get it out. so in preparation for today of course I emptied the boat <coughs> excuse me still getting over a cold I did throw some riding lines on this morning thinking what if I get it up there and I can't get it back all right let's have a look boom is in the water and yeah the boom's touching the bottom main sh main sheet off vang is off whatever I had in the forward compartment has fallen to the bottom ah oh, that would be that would be my lunch. <laughs> Should have taken that out. All right. I just put these on this morning. And they just drooped down the side. See what that did. Now, how am I going to hold this camera and get up there? I don't think I am. We're going to go first person. Here we go. Sorry. <laughs> let's, let's try from the water first. Camping hook. 
Number one. Okay, that takes a bit of effort to get up. Here we are, standing on the centerboard. And she's not coming up all by herself yet. Oh, yes it is. I have to go now. Okay, much easier to get up than to, to lay her over. Oh. Now it's time for bailing. We'll see what that's like. I've been told you can get up on the rudder using that little thing there. So I'm going to try that in a very ungraceful way. But you've probably seen my pool ladder that's uh, had some foam on it that doesn't damage the side of the side of the boat. But I find that really effective. 50 bucks. All right, let's try this. You could do it at a pinch. <laughs> All right, let's bail. Twenty liters in there. Another little point to note: you sit on a navigator, sit on the thwart. All the water drains to this point, just forward of the thwart. Well done, John. That was very clever. Thanks again for joining us. I hope you learned something. I certainly did. We'll see you again next time. Bye-bye.